Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look for you guys. This is what I've been using lately on my face to try and not get as many breakouts. Just try and use products that um, shouldn't break me out and things like that. So I really like this look. It's just an everyday look that I want to do when I look more put together versus not really wearing any makeup. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern time so let's get started with the video all right so this all these products are coming out of this makeup bag right here um, I'm doing a full blog post about this makeup bag and why I love it so much and all that stuff so check out my blog post um, just for more photos of it and all the compartments and everything it's really affordable but like a great makeup bag so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys my kind of everyday makeup routine that I'm doing to try and combat my acne and not make it worse. Um, I feel like, you know, sometimes me changing up my foundations and everything is going to really like irritate my skin. So I'm trying not to use super like crazy foundations. Anyway, what I'm going to use today first is the Aveeno Positively Rain Radiant CC Cream with Sunscreen. So I've been using this lately to just kind of even out my skin tone on days where I don't wear makeup. So I'll put this on because it has sunscreen in it and it also just evens out my skin tone. So you'll kind of see that it doesn't cover blemishes, but it just covers, it just covers up kind of pigmentation and just evens everything out. So give this a second to work itself out. So like I just did there, I just apply it with my fingertips and this is what it looks like. I like it the best when I'm like self tanned because it really does give me you know a very similar finish and color to my self tanner right now I'm just a little bit off um, because I just I haven't self tanned in like a week so anyway that is what it looks like as you can tell it just kind of evens out my skin tone but doesn't cover up these blemishes um, just for something to make me feel a little bit better now I'm going to go on to concealer I haven't changed up my concealer that much but I have really been liking this one from Maybelline this is their master conceal I've used this for years off and on just because I haven't I don't know I kind of forgot about it recently so I used to use this all the time so I like to just use it um, where I'm super dark um, underneath my eyes I'll just blend it in with a sponge so I just blend this in first um, and I only use this underneath my eyes. Then I will go in with this other one underneath my eyes as well. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light and I'll just kind of do this because this one's more close to my skin tone so I like using this one but the other one just really brightens everything up and makes sure it conceals because the Fit Me one isn't the most high coverage. Now that everything there is concealed I'm going to go on to foundation. So the reason I did it before my foundation is because I'm using a powder foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I'm going to use the shade Neutral Ivory today. And I've really been loving this. This is not sponsored by them at all. They did send this to me. But oh my gosh, this foundation, it just looks beautiful. So I just, you know, swirl it around like you're supposed to. And I just, you know, go in and apply I just like this because it looks a lot like skin. Is this the right shade for me? Okay, so I lied. I'm not using that shade. I'm going to use a light 08. Okay, so that's the foundation. I just really like it because it makes it look super natural and it gives me good coverage, but it doesn't look like makeup. I guess that makes sense. Um, and it also, you know, is a lot better for the skin. It's not going to like break me out or anything because it's, you know, mineral pigments and stuff. Um, and everything like that. So that's what I've been using lately. For bronzer today, I'm going to use Hoola by Benefit and this Kabuki brush by Essence. And just bronze up the face. I love this brush by Essence. It just really gives a beautiful bronze look to the skin. Um, like blends your bronzer out like crazy good then for blush I'm gonna use this physicians formula blush ah this is their butter blush in the shade vintage rouge and use the e4 from morphe and just plop this plop it on the cheeks I'm 
For a highlight, I've been loving the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and um, what is this one called? Prosecco Pop. I have this palette here, but they are sold individually, I believe. And so I just plop this on the high points of the face. I love this brush from Wet n Wild just to blend everything and apply. And so I like to put it up here as well, just to kind of lift the brow. I just have been loving these again lately. I kind of fell off of using them for a while and then I just kind of was like, oh my God, I need to use that palette. Okay, then I'm gonna take that sponge again and just kind of go over everything that is powder just to make sure everything's blended really nicely and melded into the skin. And then for eyes, all I'm gonna do is take the M433 from Morphe and the Hoola Bronzer, swirl that around, and then start kind of just going back and forth in the crease, just to put a nice brown shade in the crease so that we don't look, I don't know, so that we look a little bit more defined, but not um, overdone or anything. I like using the M433 because it's not as fluffy as the M441, I believe is the other one. Yeah, the M441. So I can kind of be more precise in the crease and it just looks more done up than a really blown out look. Okay, then I'll take the really small brush E36 from Morphe and some of Champagne Pop and Pom Pom Mousse. And then I'll put that in the inner corner of the eye just to really brighten it up in there. And then I like to put a little bit on the brow bone as well. Okay, and then I'll go take this brush from e.l.f. that has a dual-sided like spoolie and angled brush and comb through everything and use this CoverGirl Brow Pomade and I don't remember what shade this is, it's like medium brown or something like that. And then take some on this brush. I just find it easier to use this brush instead of the one that it comes with because I have my spoolie on the other end. And then I take it and I start in like the middle and then go towards the tail and then go towards the front once I have less product. Then I take my spoolie and really brush it out so it's not too harsh or anything. And that's like how quick my brows usually take. I don't like to overdo them and make them look fake or anything. I kind of just like put the pomade through it and then I go and brush it out so that it looks really natural. Ta-da, like that's it pretty freaking quick for eyebrows at least in my opinion <laughs> and then I'll take the elf brow gel and just run that through it really quickly I always make sure to wipe off the edges because there's always a lot of excess product on this and then I just go through it really simple and easy okay so I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes real quick then I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise like I always do I just love this mascara so much I just get such full voluminous lashes from it I can't use anything else okay I don't know if this is available or not but I love this deck of scarlet lip liner in the shade Belle it is my favorite lip liner ever so I'm gonna use this oh my god I'm almost out no I need to go check and see if this is available. Holy crap, it's gone. It's over. It's gone. Okay, then I'm gonna use the Collab Beauty um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nonstop. All right, and then for the finishing touch, I always use the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant and Rich Skin Protection Daily Fetid Defense Makeup Mist. This is a very long name. And then I fan myself to get it to dry. All right, you guys, that is it for this finished look. Like I said, this is what I've been doing to kind of ensure that my makeup or my acne doesn't get any worse. I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. I've been getting some bad, like, big breakouts, and I think it might be because of my, like, food and stuff that I'm eating. I don't really know, but this is what I've been doing lately when I want to look a little bit more put together versus just using this Aveeno CC Cream 
um, to even out my skin tone. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out my blog to see more about this makeup bag. It's really, really awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys. Woo! <laughs>